She asks, hijab, isn't that oppression? No, it's not oppression, it's covering. The women covering their heads or covering their bodies is not an oppression. Their husband didn't tell them to do that. Their fathers didn't tell them to do that. Their sons didn't tell them to do that. The imam didn't say to do that. God said for the Muslim ladies, draw your clothing across your bosoms and do not allow your natural ornaments to be shown except to those within your family circle. What are the natural ornaments of women? In case you don't know what they are. <laughs> their breasts, their shapes that happen to be different than that of men, their hair, those adornments should be covered. Now, just in case Christian people don't remember, just 40 years ago, just 40 years ago, Christian women never went to church without covering their heads. It wasn't it. Isn't that true? Ask your grandmothers. And just 50 or 60 years ago, 20 years before that, a Christian woman would never come outside with a short skirt, even. Even the nuns themselves today have succumbed to modernity. Because the nuns who committed themselves to the church and a religious life, how did they dress? They're not Muslims. They covered themselves. They covered themselves with an outer garment. And nothing on them was seen except the face and the hands. So if that was accepted by Christianity, it was accepted by religion. That wasn't something just that Muslim women were told, but Jewish women, Christian women, and Muslim women were ordered to do that in their scriptures. Now the fact that the modern civilizations ch chose to tell women they don't have to wear that, and they can wear bikinis, doesn't mean that God is wrong and they are right. Now for the Muslim lady, the wearing of the hijab is a protection for her, it's a distinction for her. Yes, it is a uniform so that she will be known to be a Muslim. She would not be molested, she would not be insulted. And no need for a man to stare at her and look at her because there is nothing appearing of her that would cause any unnatural attraction. Therefore, it is more than likely she can come and go with decency and dignity and that her natural ornaments will not create an inordinate liability for her like so happens when you see women wearing jeans and clothing that seem as if they painted it on themselves. Now all you have to do is look at these two women and you can see the problems that exist. Now of course, it doesn't mean that every woman that doesn't cover herself completely it doesn't mean that she's immoral, it doesn't mean that. But the Quran gives to the Muslim women what we consider to be an ounce of prevention is worth what? What's it, what's it, what's it, you, you know the, you know the, uh, what is it called? An ounce of prevention is worth what? A pound of cure. So just like, just like any one of you, if I asked you, what's your pin number? You wouldn't tell me. If I came to visit you in your house, you wouldn't have your certificates of deposit in front of me. You wouldn't have your jewels in front of me. You wouldn't have your stack of money or your savings in front of me, distributed just because I'm a friend and everything should be transparent. No, you have those valuables in a place that is safe. Might be a bank, might be a safety deposit box. Well, that's just money. That's just tangible things. So don't blame us and don't blame God if he tells us that our mothers and our wives and our daughters, that they should be covered and in a safe place. Uh, uh, the, the person asked about uh, segregation. Why do Muslim women, why are they segregated? They're not segregated. They're not segregated. They're separated. There's a difference between segregation and separation. For instance, outside here, you have toilets that say male, female, don't you? Don't you? Why? Why shouldn't there just be a toilet? 
Because there are sensitivities that we as moral, decent, dignified, educated people accept that there are sensitivities and privacy that the female would like to have as opposed to just walking into an open toilet. Now maybe in Amsterdam or some other places in Europe where they just have open toilets, it's different. But in most cases in the world, in most places in the world, they select to have a male and a female toilet. Why? Because there's the inherent inclination of human beings to provide sensitivity for women and sensitivity for men. Now in Islam, for us it's not a matter of being inherent. It is something which is God-given inspiration to do what? To separate the sexes. That means the genders. It doesn't mean absolute separation, like we can't see each other, we can't talk to each other, but generally my wife just doesn't I don't go to another man's house and I just sit down with his wife and dance with his wife and he sit down and dance with my wife and uh, this is just this matter of friendship. Bob, just drop over anytime you like. Okay? We don't do that. No, I come to visit Bob or Abdullah. Abdullah's wife comes to visit my wife. I don't socialize with his wife and he doesn't socialize with my wife. Although there may be occasions where we eat together, our families socialize together, but generally, after boys and girls reach the age of seven, the prophet said, even if they're brothers and sisters, separate them from the bed. And when they get to the age of menstruation and they realize another level of consciousness, then give them separate rooms. What to do what? To preserve and protect them from tendencies that human beings have. Tendencies that has manifested itself in civilizations where they don't do that protection. So we are obeying Almighty God. That's what we're doing. And sometimes we just have to believe what God orders us to do and benefit from the medicine. Sometimes when we don't follow what God tells us to do, then we see later on the reasons why. So we don't apologize for that. We say that it brings us dignity, it brings us distinction. Whether it be the hijab of the women or the separation of the men and the women, it brings us distinction, it brings us dignity and protection and morality, additional morality. That's why we do it.